I know almost every Battlefield fan right now is looking for more and more information about Battlefield 5. Over the last week, we've seen a lot more information coming out, and starting next week, DICE is going to open up the conversation to weapons and vehicles, which is going to be very exciting indeed. But for today, I've got a quick video for you guys, showcasing four new weapons potentially coming to the game. All of these taken from a recent artwork shot uploaded to the Battlefield website. Now the picture isn't particularly clear and I've not been able to get my hands on a higher resolution version but it's still legible enough that we can extract some weapons from it. Starting off on the right hand side of the image I think that this rifle right here being held by the soldier is the M1 Garand. Now this is a weapon I've seen lots and lots of players talking about in comments, on social media and in the Battlefield forums and up until this point DICE hasn't even entertained the questions about this weapon from the community. It's basically been missing in action. With Battlefield 5 being a World War II title, despite creative liberties being taken, I think pretty much everyone expected the M1 Garand to make an appearance at some point and it seems finally we've gotten sight of it. Now of course the image isn't fully clear, half the rifle is actually cut off at the edge of the image, so I could be wrong in thinking this is the M1 Garand, but I'd be extremely surprised if DICE chose not to include arguably the most iconic American weapon from World War II in Battlefield 5. We know the Thompson SMG will be included in Battlefield 5 at launch, even though the American forces are not technically shipping with the game, the Allies at launch will be British, so there's there's still a fairly good chance that we'll see the M1 Garand join that and be available to certain players. Looking at class balance, I'd wager this is going to end up in the Assault class as a semi-automatic rifle alongside others like the Gewehr 43 and the M1A1 Carbine. Moving along into the middle, the soldier slightly to the right hand side is carrying a bazooka launcher, yet another launcher confirmed for Battlefield 5. This now joins the Panzer Faust, the Panzer Shrek, the Piat launcher and potentially the Flieger Faust as well, which was spotted in another image on the Battlefield website recently, although that launcher did have some issues in real life but probably could be made to work in a video game. Whether these launchers as gadgets will be faction specific remains to be seen but there's a good amount here that could make that scenario possible. We do have to remember primary and secondary weapons in Battlefield 5 are not faction specific so the chances of that reversing for gadgets isn't all that high but it might be something that DICE considers. I think we're going to have to wait and see what DICE does here and hopefully over the next few days as they go into more detail about the weapons in the game we can learn a little bit more here. Moving over to the left hand side, the middle soldier here, she appears to be holding the Browning High Power. This pistol was made in response to the French army demanding a new service pistol, but it was never actually adopted by them, even after years of development and testing, and instead was first used by the Belgian military in 1935. It ended up sharing a lot of features with the M1911 pistol, and it was actually designed by the same man, John Browning, but during early years of its development, Browning couldn't implement M1911 features because he'd sold the rights and patents over to Colt. Over 1.5 million units of the pistol were produced from 1935 onwards and only just last year in 2017 the pistol was finally discontinued. In Battlefield 5, with all pistols being available to any soldier and any faction, this will likely be one of the many sidearms that you can unlock through the progression system. And lastly, the soldier on the far left of the image appears to be holding an M1911 pistol. This thing really needs no introduction and it's featured in almost every single Battlefield game ever released. This thing has featured in other Battlefield 5 images already, so it's no surprise to see it here. And with it being the standard issue sidearm of the American army in World War II, we were going to see this thing at some point anyway. Now as I said, likely over the next few days and definitely in next week at some point, we're going to learn a lot more about other weapons, gadgets and vehicles coming to Battlefield 5. Community manager Dan Mitri confirmed via Reddit that the week will be dedicated to this topic and if last week was anything to go by with a proper focus on combat roles and classes, then I think we'll be in for a good week of info. 
I'd say weapons and vehicles is probably one of the hottest topics in any Battlefield conversation, so the fact that we're getting an entire week dedicated to it should lead to some good results. Thank you very much for watching today. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section about what I've included in this video. What do you think of those four weapons? And make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future Battlefield 5 videos. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.